This week we look at trying to correct the roll on a water rocket. This is what a typical flight looks like. In the onboard video you can see that the rocket even with well aligned fins still typically rotates around its axis to some degree. So in order to create less dizzying video we wanted to add trim tabs to the fins to take out as much of the roll as possible. We made the trim tabs from small strips of pet plastic and taped them near the outside edges of the fins. We didn't want to add simple tabs on the trailing edges because they would bend back easily during flight and it would be difficult to adjust the angle accurately. So we made little rigid wedges where we could vary the height accurately until the rocket was properly trimmed. After reviewing the video from the first flight, we figured out on which side to put the tabs and launched it again. Oops, we must have put them on the wrong side because the rocket now spun twice as much. So we took them off and put them on the other side and launched it again. And this time the rocket rolled in the correct direction, but a little too much. But hang on, the rocket rotated in the opposite direction than what we expected with the tabs. This is where the tab is, but the rocket's rolling towards it. What the heck's going on? So we went home and set up a simple experiment with the tabs. We put the classic tabs on the trailing edges of the fins like this. With the expected airflow going this way over the tab, pushing the fin down. Right, let's test it with this mattress inflator as the source of wind. Yep, sure enough, the rocket spins in the expected direction. So now we move the same tabs forward, but still on the same side of the fin, and also angled upwards for the expectant airflow to do the same thing, bouncing off and pushing the fin down. So let's give that a go. Well, what do you know? They go in the other direction, just like we saw on our flight. So why does it happen? After some head scratching, we realized that when we move the tabs forward on the fin, we actually created an aerofoil, and when the air moves over the tab, it generates a low pressure area behind the tab and generates upward lift. So, next time we launch, we'll continue the trim procedure with the wedges, but we have to remember to keep them on the other side to what we'd normally expect.